Hi, this is Miss D at D Special Things. How are you doing this morning? Uh, I just wanted to show you some more eye casts that I've been working on. I am actually, right now, I'm working on my eye casts. Um, I'm trying to get enough done so that I could stay ahead of myself. So, I did... One, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight. I did nine of them over the weekend, and that would carry me through the 20th Monday because I've done 11 uh, already. But I'm also altering the box that I'm going to put my um, iCats in, and right now I had to change the box that I'm using. This is the box I, I did alter it to that I'm going to use and I'm going to come back and it's a little bigger uh, because the other one just barely held the eye cast that I had. So as soon as I alter this box I'll come back and as you can see I painted it inside out and as soon as I alter it I'll come back and show you what I did. Um, excuse my voice because I have a cold right now. but. I was doing these eye casts, and after a while, they started turning into everything Valentine's Day. So, I tried to get away from that, but uh, that didn't help a lot. Okay, I'm going to show you. Um, I'll try to kind of tell you the techniques that I used on these. This is one. It says, success is not the key to happiness. Happiness is the key to success. And I used a vellum piece. Do you know that you cannot see the glue under that vellum piece. I actually used uh, Fabri-Tac to hold it on and you can't see the glue under it. So I think I found a solution to applying my vellum to pieces. This right here, th these are stickers and I just cut them up and put them on here. As you can see the little shine. Um, I use my jelly plate on here um, with Tim Holtz. I think it was Tim Holtz, yeah. Uh, distress paints. And I apply paper underneath it first. Um, some deli paper. And then I applied the paint. And I also did, I'm going to show you the ones that I did using that same technique. This one, I did the same thing except I took some gesso and applied it. I used Tim Holtz little, um, those alpha, these, alpha parts. This, it wasn't newsprint, it was another one. But yeah, those are the ones that I use and the large numbers. Uh, let's see, this one. And it's the number one, and I covered it with, with paper. And I used the Anna Andy Skinner stencil on here. Um, and this was a Simply Iconic, uh, this that says, Every, Hello Everyday Life. Um, the 214, I just, I don't know, I like that number. So far, 214, very good year. 15 days into it, okay. But still a great year. So, um, I also have, as you can see, some little stickers on here. This one says live, laugh, there, and love. And I have some little sticker butterflies on there and on the number. Yeah, so that's another one. And another one that I used the same technique, and you could hardly see it. I used a, what was this? This was paper. It's decoupage paper. And I cut it up, and I took the letter, um, the postcard, and put it on there. And I used a stamp that said a happy hello. This might be Simply Iconics, too. But the background was the same technique. Um, before I covered it up, you couldn't see it. Yeah. And a couple of uh, Seven Gypsy stickers. Yeah, so that's another one. And then I got stuck with the Valentine's thing. 
I use some We Are Memory Keepers embossed stickers, yes. And I just put them on here. I use texture paste. Um, I use stickers. Um, just so. Just quite a few little. I used a stencil. And I think that's a Tim Hall stencil. Yeah, so I wish I knew how to do the edit my video so that I can actually do a process from start to finish. But I guess I'll have to play with that and see how it goes. But that's one that I used the embossed stickers on. This is another that I used the embossed stickers on. And as you can see, this has that valentine -y feel too with the pinks and the reds. And I use a stamp, a uh, Prima stamp with love, adorable, and pretty. And just doodled some. Uh, yeah, I thought I wrote on the back of these. But these would carry me through um, the 20th. Yeah, these stickers. And here's another one. And it's a sticker, one of the embossed sticker envelopes. And I used a... Uh, stencil here. I think this was a Heidi Swap stencil. I used some texture paste. Yeah. And I used a stamp. But that's another one. And this is another one. I used the Claudine Helmut stamp. And this is just the background stamp. And I, did, I don't have the outline stamps for these. So I just kind of outlined it with the white gel pen and I used the hexagon punch. I think this is the EK Success. Uh, no, that's the Fiskars hexagon punch. Use some paper and this is also another one that I applied the jelly paper to. I just painted over this but I did not use anything on the background other than some stamps and some rub-ons and jotted that. And it says enjoy life. Yeah. And this one is the. This is so cool. This is the Andy Skinner Baroque die. And this is just one of those um, Studio G, I think. I don't know which one dies. But the hearts here, if you can see that, the hearts is in the white and the red. I used another technique and for the face. Um, I used a technique using, let's see here, my Inca Ghost. I used the Inca Ghost, I used the stencil, and I used the pouncing technique. And I was watching a video the other night. I thought that was so cool um, because you actually get the definition of the outline really well. I like the way this came out. Yes, that is so pretty. I did use um, Tim Holtz um, Distress Paints and the water, just the blotch. I just blotched it uh, technique. I didn't just sew the paper, so it came out really well. I did buff out the hearts once I finished. Um, the white is actually the stamp paint. Viva Decor stamp paint is not the ink ago. Um, I also had a question and I'm going, are these the same two paints? <laughs> ink ago and the ink ago metallic rub, did they just change the colors of these? Because I have two types. The labels are different. But I'm thinking these paints are the same. This is lava red. This is lava red. And I just noticed that because I have the, the collection of these and the collection of these. Because I was not certain when I bought them. I thought there was something different. So um, if you know, let me know on the bottom so that I could, yeah, kind of do something. I hate for them to go bad, but I have two collections of them. But anyway, this is the last card that I did, and this was probably the first one I did. And uh, 
this one I used corrugated cardboard I used stamps I used um, this right here the color background color is duct tape and I found that in Walmart and they had it like the um, quarter inch or the half inch strips yes yeah, so I bought a roll of it I just wanted to see what it how it came out and I used um, the the gels the gelatos for the background mostly covered up except for where I put this saying sometimes you can feel how good your day is going to be when I have those days I like to create so I thought this just played a it just worked well together yes yeah, so those are my iCads that I've done so far so I'm good until the 20th and I can go ahead and make 10 more well really 11 and I'll have my cards for this month but these this is the start of my cards for January so there you are all right thanks everyone for watching and when I do more I'll come back and show y'all thanks everyone bye bye